in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent. All praise be to Allah, and may the peace, blessings, and mercy of Allah be upon the Prophet Muhammad and all prophets sent before him. Many media agencies have broadcast a video clip from a weekly program that I present on a satellite TV channel. I find the response it generated surprising and almost amusing due to the way it was presented and ridiculed. As if Mickey Mouse is a living creature. Of course, I have known from more than 40 years now, as everyone does, that Mickey Mouse is a cartoon character. Thus, what I said was not a fatwa to kill Mickey Mouse, nor would any reasonable-minded person say such a thing. But before I go on to comment on this specific issue, I would like to highlight a few points. Firstly, to clarify what Islam is about, Islam is about worshipping the one true God, Allah in Arabic. The teachings of Islam were revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and are preserved unchanged in the Quran. The controversy resulted from a misunderstanding of how Muslims view the detailed rulings of Islam. Muslims are very proud of their adherence to Islam, which was revealed for all people, men and women, black and white, Arabs and non-Arabs, Muslims are keen to learn the details of their religion, as it is a complete way of life. Islam covers personal worship, economics, family and social issues, all major aspects of daily life. These even include etiquettes of eating, clothing, and general manners in all personal dealings. An example of this is the treatment of animals which Islam mandates be treated in the kind and humane manner. To the extent that the Prophet, peace be upon him, mentioned that a person who had kept a cat and neither fed it nor left it to find its own food, effectively starving it, was condemned for such mistreatment. What was mentioned in the video clip was one of the rulings in dealing with harmful animals, such as rodents and scorpions, as part of a broader discussion of the effects of media and characters on the family and children. Scientific research, history, and even common sense have confirmed what Islam taught over 1,400 years ago. The following are some factual websites that corroborate this stance. Such controversies often results from culture misunderstandings and misinformation. In this case, it was due to a misleading representation via a written translation that did not reflect my personal expression while speaking. The real issue being discussed was the harmful rodent, the mouse, not Mickey. People who honestly search for the truth will utilize authentic sources. Our advice to people and media outlets who rely on translations is to ensure they are using objective sources and avoid translations that are misleading at best. In fact, a verse in the Quran alludes to this, referring to news coming from an untrustworthy source that one must confirm its truthfulness so as not to unintentionally harm people. May Allah guide us all to the truth and praise be to the Lord of all mankind.